Well, Canadian whiskey really is one of the of the four great uh, whiskey styles in the world. And there, it is significantly different from the others for several reasons. But the most important thing, I think, is that each of the different grain components that goes into the whiskey is distilled and matured separately. So it's distilled in, to, to, to get the best uh, flavor out of that particular grain, and it's matured using barrels that, are, that will get the best uh, flavor from that grain spirit as well. Once the whiskey is matured, then it is blended together. So I, I say, like you can compare it with bourbon, the bourbon makers, they blend the grains before they, they mash them in a mash bill. In Canada, we blend it after it's mature so that each grain is brought to its peak of flavor and then they're, then they're brought together. Canadian whiskey is blended whiskey. Canadian whiskey, there are significant regulations about Canadian whiskey. Number one, it has to be um, distilled uh, entirely in Canada from grain. And it, um, it has to be matured at least three years in oak barrels. Most people go way longer than that. Uh, Canada was the first country to actually have an aging law. Uh, we don't have the specific requirements that bourbon does, but remember bourbon is one of only 41 different kinds of American whiskey. In fact, if, if you make something that is only 20% grain spirit in the States, you can still call it whiskey. In Canada, it has to be made all from grain and matured in Canada in oak barrels. So uh, it's different than bourbon. Uh, also, because we distill our rye or our corn or whatever first before we blend it, you get a lot more impact from the grain, a lot more impact, especially from rye, which produces very little alcohol. So you get a, a lot of rye to make the same amount of spirit that you would get from, from corn.